Hi everybody and welcome back to Jaffa Cooks and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful nice fluffy Victoria sponge cake. Okay so some simple ingredients um, we've got here and it's not really it's the technique uh, that we're going to use to, that's going to make it nice and fluffy. Okay so I've got some eggs, sugar, flour, lemon zest, some lemon, um, melted butter and I've got some vanilla essence. Simple recipe but the technique I'm going to show you is going to show you how to make a nice fluffy Victoria sponge cake. Um, before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do so. Uh, click on the bell icon, get the latest ideas, tips, tricks, and share with your family and friends. And if you've tried my recipes and they come out great, give me a, a thumbs up. All right, so without further ado, um, my blender's on a whisk. I'm going to beat the eggs and the sugar to start with. So I'm just going to take the eggs. The cooking ideas, tips, tricks are all in the description below. So I've got some sugar, some eggs. So I'm going to beat the eggs on high speed for about five minutes so they're white and they hold together. And I'll show you what, they, what the mixture should look like in about five minutes time. So my mixture's ready. And just to show you what it should look like, if you look at the texture, it's called the ribbon or swirly concept. So it's holding, even despite it's falling, um, it'll hold um, together quite well. Okay, and at this stage, we're trying to basically leave as much air in it. Now I'm gonna show you how to um, put in the remaining uh, ingredients to complete the mixture. Now that our eggs and sugar are mixed to consistency, I'm going to pour in the remaining ingredients, which at this stage is the lemon juice and the zest. So I'm just going to pour it in and then I'm going to turn it on to medium speed for about, about a minute. So after a minute of mixing the lemon juice and rind, I'm going to now introduce the flour and the salt on medium speed and I've sifted this, uh, the flour and the salt to make sure that there's no lumps or any other uh, particles in it. So medium speed and I'll slowly introduce it. So now that um, my flour is mixed in, um, I'm going to introduce the last elements which is the melted butter and the vanilla essence. So I'm going to now remove approximately a cup's worth of mixture and then introduce the last two remaining ingredients and fold and blend them in. So that'll allow us to make sure that the consistency um, of the vanilla essence and the butter is mixed in and introduced slowly instead of blending it all in together. Okay, so now I've, uh, my mixture's ready. I'm going to now introduce the melted butter and the vanilla essence. And how we're going to do that, I'm just going to take one cup of the mixture into a separate bowl and I'm going to introduce the elements and then fold them into the one cup and then introduce it back to the original mixture. And this will make sure that everything gets mixed into to the mixture thoroughly and it just doesn't sit in a, in a big lump somewhere. Because we're going to fold this in, not whisk it in. So just quickly mix that in. Okay, so I'm going to now take the mixture of the butter and vanilla essence, pour it into my mixture that I've blended the eggs and sugar and flour. And then I'm just going to very slowly, very carefully, without disturbing too much of the original mixture, blend the vanilla essence and butter into the mixture. Just very carefully, we don't want to lose the the air that's formed. So now my mixture is complete. I'm going to pour this into a t uh, nine inch tin. Now the tin hasn't been greased. The only thing I've lined it with is in parchment paper. So very carefully. At this stage, I'm just going to mention, if you haven't switched on your oven, now is the time to do it. So I'm going to pour my mixture in very carefully. Okay, my mixture is ready. It's poured into the tin and I'm going to pop this into the oven at around about 150 degrees for about 40 minutes. 
and I'll see you back in about 45, 50 minutes. Okay, the cake's perfectly done. Now what we have to do now is remove this and put it on a cooling rack and we have to make sure it's totally cool before we actually release the spring and take the cake out of the tin. So I'll show you back once the, tins, once the cake's cooled and what to do next. Okay. So my cake's cooled down and now basically we're going to slice the cake halfway and I'm going to fill it with jam, whipped cream and to finish it off with some fresh strawberries on top. So before I start slicing the cake, I'm going to pour my cream into the whisker and basically whisk it at high speed. Okay, my cream's whipped. Um, I was going to slice my cake and I've got a ramekin actually. Sometimes you can use it as a guide. So I'm going to fill my um, cake with the strawberry jam and you can really use as much or as little as you, you fancy. So I'm just going to put enough to cover it. And really you can again use some of it on the inside and you could put as much or as little as you want on the outside. You could even pipe it if you feel. So I'm just gonna take the other half, place it on top, a little bit of pressure make sure it doesn't flow out too much from each side and I think we're good to go. Okay. Now you could really just dust it off um, with some icing sugar or just serve it with some strawberries but I've got enough cream so I'm going to actually pipe, not pipe, but I'm going to put some more on top and then I'm going to lay the strawberries on top of the cream. Really just decorate it as you please now. I've got strawberries I'm going to layer mine all the way around and I'll come back and show you at the end what my dessert looks like. I'll see you shortly.